friend of mine wanted to build a little machine for polishing these brass bits that he uses for clock making. He built a little machine made out of Meccano that uh, turned a, a jam jar full of sand to polish his little bits. The only trouble was it was uh, a hand crank thing with a little handle on the front. So what he did then was he added a motor. I think I can do better with an Arduino and an H-Bridge motor control board. Here's the exact same motor that my friend used. For speed control of the motor, I'm using one of these little H-Bridge boards. I'm using a little Arduino Nano as the brains of the outfit. Let's go the whole hog and have a nice graphic display to select the options from a menu. All we need now is a rotary converter so we can make the selections on the menu. Now let's wire it all up. Looks really messy on the motherboard but uh, it works. Right, I'll go through the menus. You can select manual running. Or auto. Auto, it will run for the time set in the minutes. So you can leave it alone to run. I'll have it in manual for now. Set the speed. If I go up to about 60%. Now I can start the motor. I've got uh, full speed control now. I think any anything less it will stop. Yeah. I'll reverse it. stop it here's the circuit drawn out in fritzing now you can see why it's a messy on the motherboard okay a quick look through the software that you can download from my github link in the description below first thing I um, fiddled about with the settings and the uh, pinouts for the display and these ones work for me, so I uh, thought I'd put them there at the top. You need two external libraries to drive the display. These are the outputs for the display. These are the PWM outputs needed for the motor control. Okay, some outputs down here and variables. This thing actually sets up the display, this line here. Here is the main loop. Basically, I'm checking the status of the buttons on the rotary encoder. And depending on what they're sat at, I decide which mode I'm in, and I jump to a, a function for each of those three modes. get down to the modes. Oh, I did have a single routine for resetting the screen and it did everything. Uh, here we are. Um, it cleared the screen, set the text size, uh, did the title and filled in all the details of the screen. But I found that that flickered. So what I ended up doing in the end was having little routines to just refresh bits of it. 
So, um, for example, this bit just does the bit of the screen that shows the, the run minutes. Um, here's a trick as well with these displays. <clears throat> if you're showing a changing number, print a couple of spaces after it, then it doesn't overwrite itself if the number gets shorter. This is the little routine that draws the selection squares. Um, whichever option I've got selected, and there's five of them, naught to four, um, I draw a little white box next to the, the option you select. You see this yellow colour here, it actually turns out blue on the screen, don't know why. It's something to do with the how it's set up in the library, but <laughs> I found through experimentation that on my display, when I put yellow, it actually does blue. <laughs> Who knew? So I've got three different modes for the operation on the screen. Mode zero is when I'm selecting something from a menu. Mode one is where I'm adjusting the speed value. And mode two is where I'm adjusting the minutes for the, the time to run. If I'm in menu selection mode, and the selection is one, uh, and that's the run stop. And again, I negate the uh, run stop flag and uh, update the screen accordingly. The last one is the forward reverse selection. So if I'm in menu selection mode when the button's pressed and I'm at the fifth selection position i reverse the direction and i update the screen to reflect the change so there we are a totally over the top way of doing uh, speed control for a dc motor um, i don't know if i'll ever um, make it into a, an actual thing that pete can use but uh, it works anyway as far as i'm concerned here's a bit of um concept art to show you what it might look like if I build a 3D printed enclosure for the thing. <laughs> Good fun. If you want the code, I'll put a link to the um, entry in my uh, GitHub repository. Uh, please comment if you like this. It's a bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Bye.